Welcome back to Studio 5. Many families, of course, feeling the effects of the economic pinch and are struggling and having a hard time financially. And that is a situation that can cause a huge stress in marriage. So what happens when dad loses his job? You know, there's sort of a, a lighter look at this. There was a classic movie back in the 80s called Mr. Mom. And in this, Michael Keaton's character he actually lost his job and had to take over at home while his wife went to work. It was sort of this little funny look at dad trying to take care of the kids, trying to vacuum. There's the washing machine going crazy, fighting with the evil vacuum cleaner named Jaws, trying to take care of the kids. It was sort of a lighter look back then, but it is actually a serious issue for a lot of people nowadays. It really is. Studio 5 relationship coach Matt Townsend knows it can be a serious matter. Money, the number one thing couples fight about yeah. with the economy the way yeah. it is. I'm sure those fights are well and plenty. They're nasty, <laughs> and it's huge. And they, these, by the way, have gone on forever. Money's always been a big issue because it's a major source of power in a relationship. It's what determines kind of who does what, who has the freedom, who doesn't have the freedom. And, you know, if you notice, the money issues have been changing, too, because now we have dual income households taking over which is starting to create some safety for one of the partners mm -hmm. but uh, it's also creating higher expectations of what we can spend what we can't spend so money huge deal and uh, you know what probably comes back to a very basic issue communication because mm. it's not money's not the real issue the real issue is how we communicate and handle all of these deals so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you some ideas Five steps. We have to use five. <laughs> we love the number five. Because Star Wars number. too few. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we want to hum. We want to hum through some of these. Now the first one is this: you and your partner have got to get on the same page. Okay. Most relationship issues are about expectations. Most money issues are about expectations because we don't talk about them until they become an issue. For example, is it because we, because we don't talk about them, or we don't talk about them in a right way, or both? Or in a context. See, when you're first dating and getting married, you have money issues, aren't issues, and then all of a sudden you start. Once you're married, and you kind of settle down in the relationship and you're buying a house then the house needs a lawnmower and the lawnmower needs uh, gas and all these expenses start to accumulate then we have kids then all the things that you weren't even anticipating were gonna cost you start to cost you then your partner loses a job it's a big deal my first fight with my wife my first major fight money we were at Wendy's in um, where was it? Wendy's in Sugar House. Honey, okay. can I please supersize this? No. That's exactly. No, it's no, not. No, how did you know? She was mad, and this we never had this expectation clear, but I thought we were rich because <laughs> she was a school teacher. And she made thirteen hundred bucks a month. We were rolling in it. Yeah. And so I'm like, no big deal. So we go to the restaurant and she she didn't order a beverage. And I did. And she goes, Oh no, no, Matt, I'm not ordering a beverage. I'm like, whatever. I'm having a beverage. <laughs> and so I ordered a beverage. She didn't want a beverage. Started our first fight. Wow. Right there in Wendy's? I swear. And you know what? Nobody knows this, but her head spun all the way around. <laughs> Three, and fire shot out her eyes. And she said, don't drink that beverage. Did you throw food? I did throw food. And I had to start drinking. Um, I had to start hiding my drinking. Oh. I became a closet <laughs> beverage drinker. Anyway, nice. so the first key is you got to get on the same page. Best way to do that is I'd sit down and have a meeting. And I'd say, hon, money's tight, what are we going to do? And I'd actually plan a meeting to have a regular meeting once or twice a month when we're going to sit down and have the conversation. You have the meeting this. first just to plan the meetings. Yeah, you got to, well, how else would you do it? Okay. A word meeting sounds pretty formal. It is. I want it to be formal because if you if you do kind of do it informal, then we're going to kind of informally solve these problems, hmm. which doesn't usually work. I want it to be a formal activity where we're going to meet, okay? Okay. So first rule. Get on the same page, okay. right? Okay, second rule. Be real with each other. Okay. Be real with each other is simply this. Most couples are used to starting to hide or not even be real with themselves if they have a spending problem. A lot of us have no idea what our budgets are. So I would suggest go figure out what you actually do spend. You know, it's like 2% of people actually budget. Yeah. Isn't that ridiculous? I and mean, we don't budget, but yeah, because they don't know they're going to sit here. We're independently wealthy, so it doesn't quite matter. Um, but we've got to get on the same page. And if you know you have a habit of spending, then you gotta be real with each other. If you know that you have gotta go buy all those scrapbooking stuff that you do, Brooke, and you're just buying them left and right, and you're addicted to scrapbooking, what are like you saying? You are, okay. Because um, <laughs> you started when you were 12. That's true. We've heard. Um, it is, by the way, two words for scrapbooking. I think I've told you this. Devil's Workshop. Oh, Major money spending. Um, so we've got to start getting on the same page. We've got to also be very clear and real with what part of the problem we are. Okay? Once we've done that, rule number three, Darren? Uh, rule number three is focus on the solutions, not the problems. I think this right? is a good one. That's it. Most couples end up fighting about problems, and the more you fight about problems, the more you only know about problems. I'd start arguing, not arguing, or discussing solutions. And the problem with solutions is most people don't know financial solutions. Most people don't know how to budget. Most people don't know how to do some of this stuff because they've never learned it. Where yeah. would you learn this? So 
Focus on solutions. There's a million solutions out there, and this kind of gets into the fourth rule. Make a plan or get help. You've got to make a plan or get some help on the solutions. There are professionals out there that do this all day long. This is all they do is help people budget. A great one that I've seen a lot of people in, that I work with, my clients, that they go to David Ramsey, DaveRamsey.com. And he is a master of getting people out of debt. His ultimate goal is get rid of all your credit cards, get rid of all that junk, quit trying to, trying to build a credit score. He kind of gets into the fact that that's an illusion, that they're tricking you to just keep spending or using credit cards. Mm -hmm. Quit all of that and get financially sound. But get help because most people don't know solutions. Well, and I think a lot of couples might say, we're in debt so far, money is so tight, how can I pay someone yeah. to help us get out of there? But the payoff in your relationship, it's you say, huge. is worth it. And it's actually subsidized. Zions Bank and other places will actually subsidize some of the training for you, so it's very affordable. It's dollars, not hundreds of dollars. Mm. Okay? Great. So the last rule is exercise integrity in the moment of choice. I'm not really sure what that means. Okay, actually, either do I. I don't even know okay. how that one got on there. But it's a great point. Um, so when my, so here's what happened with my deal. So I had to start drinking my beverages alone in the car <laughs> because my wife would get mad because each beverage cost about $1.25. And then I, um, I became a closet beverage drinker, and I would hide the drink, and I'd drink it in the car till I got home, and then I wouldn't, I'd go in without the beverage. And then my wife would be like... I smell carbonation. <laughs> and then it just started another fight. So when I say exercise and integrity. And then when she found the Wendy cup in the car. Oh my Whoa. God. It's like I was having an affair with Wendy. <laughs> and, um, but what ended up happening is this. We, we basically made some rules with ourselves that we've got to exercise integrity. I have to have integrity to our plan that we make. If you have a plan and you have a problem and the plan fixes the problem, then the only thing left is to exercise integrity to the plan. Then it's about checking in with each other. And what's neat about this, this could be the greatest way to strengthen your relationship because now we can grow together and grow trust in each other because we have a problem with a plan and we exercise integrity on the plan. It's the number one way to build trust. And so even if you have money issues, it's a big deal. I'm not saying don't fret it, but I'm saying make a plan. Everyone has issues, make the plan and then exercise integrity to the plan. And if you get through that, I'm actually reading this, that if you build stronger trust, your actually mm -hmm. marriage will be stronger, stronger if you make it through those problems. Uh, and by the way, this is the money issue. We could take every other issue couples have and do the exact same thing. Notice you have an issue, make a plan or get help from professionals, and then exercise integrity to the plan. You can do that on any issue and build the relationship. Okay. In fact, you help people with that. You got a little workshop coming up the yeah. next month, right? October 10th, 7 to 9. It's the, it's not hot nights. We quit doing that one. It's date at night with Matt Townsend. Attendance was down. I it was know. way down. It was too hot. We <laughs> melted the place. That's rude. Twenty bucks a couple, but bring your partner. It's a great way to start learning some principles together. You have to register because they do fill up fast. Yes, they do, and you have to call. Okay. okay. Matt, thanks so much. Thanks, kids. Coming up.